Hi everyone, it's WGM Sensei here. Hi, Stu. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. Last time round, we started to explore the cycling road, and in this episode, we're pretty going to finish off the cycling road before heading back to Saffron City to try and take out Team Rocket. So let's go. I had to pause it because, of course, you are automatically going down. There's no money in fighting kids. <laughs> what a way to start an episode. Well, how about I take some money with you? Let's just surf. Let's just surf it. Okay, stop. Critical hit. Nice. Primeape. Um. Hmm. No, I'll stick with seal. Huh. Rage. Interesting. He's not been to that move, so... Should be enough. Yep. Burned out. And then I get money. Well, you did say there was no money in fighting kids, but I fight you and there's money in that, so... I guess that works? I don't know. We're bikers! Highway stars! Okay. I mean... Muck. Oh, level 33. I can still surf it though. So much dive just does. Mm, that's, um... Not a lot. I can free kill him with it. Oh, that's an auto poison. Huh. I thought that did damage. Or maybe I'm thinking of smog. Wow, I didn't level up from that. Smoked. So unfortunately, I have to crawl all the way back up this hill to get to the Pokemon Center. Huh. I wonder if I'm gonna make it. I don't know. I should. And again, apologies to those sensitive to flashing lights. They did fix that in later generations, but unfortunately this is the first generation, so yeah. It's an old game. Oh, right. That is the advantage of cycling road though, is that it is you just automatically go on your bicycle with it, so can't really complain too much about that. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Are you looking for adventure? Um Yes? I don't know. I guess I am. Let Voltorb electrify you! Great. 
And I have sea light. Should be fine. Maybe. Ha, ah, sorry headphone users. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, stop killing headphone users. It's not nice. It just isn't nice. Nice, level 33. Another Vault Torb. Um, let's go with Weapon Bell. Wow, that did nothing. Try acid. He's gonna keep using Sonic Boom, isn't he? That's a bit more. Yeah, he's gonna keep using Sonic Boom, wow. Huh. Interesting strategy. Grind it out. this path. My Pokemon won't evolve. Why? Well, let me see what you have and I'll maybe be able to tell you. Oh, my joke. I know why. <laughs> uh, um, I maybe should have healed. Yeah, I probably should have healed. I don't know why I didn't. I usually heal, but I thought I'd be alright. Nice, level 33 for him. Why you? Maybe some Pokemon need element stones to evolve. Well, actually, no. Well, yes, they do, but Machook isn't one of them. So, Machook is known as a trade evolution. So, he only evolves if you trade him. And, um, as I've mentioned before, I actually don't have access to trading. So, unless you do, you are constantly stuck with. A Pokemon that can't evolve. I, I actually don't like that. I actually don't like be a rebel and trade evolution Pokemon. But I get it. I get it. It sort of incentivizes you to trade. But whenever you don't have access to it, you kind of are stuck. Especially on the older games. Whenever trading is harder to do. Wow, critical hit. Oh, one more. Credit back. Arg. 
I get control again. <laughs> So we're back here in Fuchsia City, we're on the west side, we went through the east side the last time. So, get the opportunity to heal at least. This trainer is a uh, flying type. Oh, there's a couple here. This is my turf. Get out of here. No. That's a disadvantage of mirror move. <laughs> That's not gonna affect me because I use Special Fero. Let's kick on. Stop. Okay, stop. Wow, five, five hits. Nice, level three, three. I'm trying to earn slash. Hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Leer. Slash, or slash, slice. Wow, that did a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be careful then if I'm facing off against bird traders with my weeping bell. But we'll see how we get on. Thank you. 
I always check every grass area for new Pokemon. Acid, which is a poison type move, which just wow, it does so much damage. <laughs> wow, critical hit. Wasn't too bad. Only two hits. Should be able to free shot him. Yes, thank you. Level 33. Tick. I can't make that. I, I can never make that sound. I can't. I can't do it. Kuraku, how do you like the bird call? Um. <laughs> do you want the answer to that question? Uh. I haven't done it in a while. Wow, drill pack. Tears triangle. Tackle. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Silver beam? Yeah. One more. No, not roar. Not roar. Anything but roar. Oh, sorry, Clay Fable. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have used metronome, but I wanted to use metronome. This is overkill, by the way. Didn't need to do that, but... He meant, like, bugging me through his bird call? I guess? I don't know. Uh... So yeah, the thing is, like, with metronome is, if you do get a move that is normal type, I think I do get stab bonus from it. Which is pretty interesting, because moves in the game are normal, so chance that I would get a move that I get stab bonus with, so it's actually interesting to use Metronome. I can't, I love using Metronome. I try to use it whenever I can. Even though it's terrible, like most people would never use Metronome in a real competitive fight. There are like things like Metronome battles where basically trainers use Metronome all the time. The get lost kid, I'm bushed. Because of all the random moves you can get. I, I, I love using Metronome, it's so good. It's a bad move, but it's a good move. Coffee.
Wow, you survived? <laughs> Game, one of the weakest. Well, actually, it's a normal type, so I want to go out and stab, so. Level 34. <laughs> Coughing. Uh, let's go sand flash. It's been a while since. Sand Slash has come out. <laughs> Coughing again. Critical hit. <laughs> nice. Are you satisfied? Um, I guess. I don't know. I think so. Right, so we have done a lot of trainer fights over these past episodes. Um, but now I'm actually going to make the journey to Saffron City. Because that's where we need to go. And I figured while we were going there, I talk. A, I would talk a little bit more about my my love my love for this game and the combined series Pokemon games. So, what I call the combined series is basically like this one, Pokemon Yellow. There's also Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Emerald, and Pokemon Platinum. And that's it. There's never been a combined series game after that. And basically I've not bought a Pokemon game since Black 2. So I, I'm kind of at a little up when it comes to Pokemon now, but I kind of I kind of like the idea that the new Pokemon games are set in like the British Isles or England, I guess. Um, which is really cool, um, but I didn't like what they did with uh, with cutting a lot of Pokemon from the game. I could I could understand why, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people are angry with it, and I'm going to know why. And you know, it just made it limiting, and I I guess the only thing about it was like it had to happen eventually. Like, there's nearly, I think there's almost over a thousand Pokemon now. I think. I think there's over a thousand now, as of the recording of this episode. We're, we're on to the eighth generation of Pokemon. And, you know, a lot of things were cut out in Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I don't like. Um, and a lot of people were not happy with it. But, the thing is, it still sold well. Because it's Pokemon, of course it's going to sell well. I don't know. It's confusing. I don't know. I'm just a normal person that likes video games. That's all I am. But we're actually going to go into the fighting dojo right now. Because we're here in Saffron. And talk to you. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Sorry. <laughs> nice critical hit. <laughs> Stick with seal. Wow, 
Oh, that was a crit. I crit you back. <laughs> nice. Prime me. Focus energy. Why did you use it twice? Why did you use focus energy twice? That's a bad idea. Oof, I give up. Nice tape, yeah. A choke. Interesting. That's a lot of damage, actually. Low kick is strange. It deals more damage the heavier the Pokemon is. So you have to consider the Pokemon's weight. Which is weird, but anyway. Level 34. Judge, one point. it there, but Drugong Seals Evolution. I have a Water Ice type. Now, Ice is actually a very, not very good type, actually, <laughs> but it's good for a few things. So we have we have an Ice type now. That's gonna be useful for a lot later on. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for shooting. I? I mean, I'm sure it's possible to do that at IRL, but punching a boulder? That, like, that, that, I don't care how you are. That would be sore. Unless you've, like, really trained to, like, block out like, all pain. Ember slash scratch. Let's try slash actually. I might deal more damage. Oh yeah, that was a crit. So slash has a high critical hit ratio, so that's good to use. Stub fingers. <laughs> Horg, take your 
shoes off. <laughs> oh, I love that line. I, I know it's a fighting dojo and people do that, but it's still funny. I don't actually feel uncomfortable though. I don't like taking my shoes off. Unless like somebody actually told me to, then I might, then I probably would, but I still feel really uncomfortable. Anyway, enough about shoe etiquette, which is something I didn't think I'd be talking about in a Pokemon LP, but anyway. I give up. I keep doing that. We've seen Dugong. Grunt. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwah! Alright, he has Hitmonlee. Wow, wow, level 37. Well, good thing I've. Wait, Bell? Wow, critical hit. Wait, now might go down here. Come on, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Ah. Oh. Go, Magneton. This is overkill, by the way. Hitmonchan. You do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Alright, so you do get a choice. You get one choice only per playthrough. Um, I always pick Hitmonchan, but here's Hitmonlee. He's about kicking. And I always pick Hitmonchan, I don't know why. Now, a lot of people think that Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are references to Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, but apart from it's like Japanese uh, boxer called Chan and a Japanese uh, Taekwondo master called Lee. So that's actually what they're based on. You want the piss and punching Hitmonchan? Yes. Alright, do I give a nickname? No, we don't. And 
You get to read this. What goes around comes around. Better not get greedy. Yeah, so that's what happens if you try to get the second one. <laughs> I'm sure if you asked nicely, they might have given it to you, but... Yeah, so the only other way to get Hitmonlee is to, um... Trade. If you want, like... The other one. Alright, so right now... There's a few things we've got to do. We can now go into self company. Office building. Oh boy, I hate this place. Mainly because of the music. I don't like the music. But we are gonna check out uh Hitmon Ch Hitmon Chan's with X, aren't we? If I can find it. Here it is. Punches in corkscrew fashion. It can punch its way through a concrete wall the same way as a drill. So yeah, this is the uh, stealth company office building. And this place is massive. It's so massive, it's probably one of the biggest dungeons in the entire game. In fact, it is the biggest dungeon in the entire game. And I don't like it, but we're going to end this episode right here, and next time on Pokemon Yellow, we'll proceed through this place and try and find out what's happening here. So, with all that being said, folks, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community, where we spread fun and positivity. So... That being said, folks, I will, of course, see you again.